Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Anna. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we got a special one for you. On today's video, we're going to give you the 11 differences between Virgin Voyages and Carnival Cruise Lines. We're going to hit on stuff like the cost, the dining options. What is the atmosphere like on board? We're even going to talk about sail away. We're just going to go through it and let's hurry up and get into it. The first difference between Virgin Voyages and Carnival Cruise Lines is the cost. If I have heard this once, I have heard it twice. Yeah. Why is Virgin Voyages so much more expensive than Carnival Cruise Lines for the same kind of fare, similar itineraries, all of that? First thing to keep in mind, Virgin Voyages comes with an all-inclusive approach to their pricing. So yes. what I went ahead and did was I searched for comparable sailings the exact same date on the same duration so that I can give you the breakdown and give you the comparison between the two. So I'm going to look down. So I am going to compare Carnival Cruise Lines, um, Carnival Mardi Gras with Valiant Lady, which is Virgin Voyage's um, newest ship that is out right now. Going to the Eastern Caribbean, December the 16th, 2023 for seven days. With Virgin Voyage's Valiant Lady at the Central Sea Terrace, which is their highest ca um, balcony category without going into their suite options, is $3,946 total. Yes. At double occupancy. Let's go over to Carnival Cruise Lines Mardi Gras. Let's go to a Lido balcony, not including your spa balcony. It's just a regular Lido balcony in the mid section of the ship. At the base price, it is $3,047.30. That includes your taxes, port fees, all of that. What did I just say? <clears throat> that Virgin Voyages has a more all-inclusive approach. So some of the basic things that we know that everyone is going to add on to their fare is gratuities, internet, and at least a 12 pack of bottled water for their room. So once I added that to the price of this Carnival Cruise fare, it came up at a total of $3,522.30, yeah. which leaves a difference of $423.70 total on the side of Virgin Voyages being more expensive. The second difference between Carnival Cruise Lines and Virgin Voyages is their food options. Mm -hmm. What you're going to find out on Carnival Cruise Line, Carnival has buffets and they have specialty dinings that you have to pay extra for. When you come over to Virgin Voyages, like we explained, they have a more all-inclusive approach. So that means that all of their specialty restaurants are included in the price. You don't pay extra for any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. All of it's included in Amen. the price. <laughs> <laughs> also, Virgin Voyages does not have buffets like Carnival, but they do have what they call dinner and dash that you can kind of walk mm -hmm. up and kind of grab stuff. They do have some grab and goes at dinner and mm -hmm. donna. But for the most part, everything is cooked to order. Yes, indeed. The third thing that makes Carnival Cruise Lines and Virgin Voyages so different is the drink package yes. or their approach to a drink package. So Carnival Cruise Lines has what they call the cheers package. Mm -hmm. And we all know the cheers package is infamous for if one buys it in the cabin, everyone over 21 has to purchase it as well in that same cabin. With Virgin Voyages, they have come up with a bar tab and their bar tabs start at $300 increments, yes. which means that me and him can share a $300 bar tab. We can give people drinks from our $300 bar tab. But with Virgin Voyages, you can also add on to the bar tab. So you can buy two, three bar tabs if you feel like you're going to drink that much. At Carnival Cruise Lines, their cheers package comes with a 15 per day cap on their alcoholic beverages. Yeah. That was a lot to say. <laughs> so basically all of the other beverages that and I always say, if you can swallow it, don't worry about it. It's included. But when it comes to the alcoholic beverages is 15 per person per day is your max limit. Everything else is unlimited. And on uh, Virgin Voyages, you don't have a limit mm -hmm. on how many drinks you can get. And also with the cheers package, you got to wait every five minutes to get a different drink. But on um, Virgin Voyages, there is no limit. You can you can drink one one minute, drink one the next limit, oh, 
so order no, five yeah. at one time if you right. want. Right, it don't even matter. <laughs> don't even matter. The fourth difference in Virgin Voyages and Carnival Cruise Lines is their approach to the sail away. Yeah. Now we had a rude awakening. So if you've ever been on <laughs> Carnival, on Carnival, Carnival Sail Away is off the it's chain. Epic. Yeah, it's like you dancing, you partying. It's you a drinking. family reunion. Yeah, it's like it gets it gets freaking crazy, man. It does. Now when you get on Virgin Voyages, <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit more turnt back. Mm -hmm. it's, it isn't really out there like a carnival sail away. Agreed. But you will have fun. Now, if on, you participate. If you participate. On Virgin Voyages, they do slip you some champagne for about an hour. They give you free champagne for about an mm -hmm. hour at sail away. But however, the sail away experience is totally, totally different. Mm -hmm. Totally different. So when you get, it's going to, if you, when you're first time on, it's going to be a little culture shop, but you're going to be all right. Though. Yeah. There's no line dancing nah. or anything like that. But nah. with the right DJ, it's a vibe. Right. The fifth difference between Virgin Voyages and Carnival Cruise Lines is the entertainment. Damn. Meant. All right. Virgin Voyages is an adult only cruise line. So all of their shows and entertainment is a little bit on the risque side. Yes. They are turned <laughs> up. There's nothing that is off limits when it comes to their entertainment. All I mean, versus Carnival. Carnival is family friendly. There are things like Family Feud, Deal or No Deal, things that are just inclusive for the family. But when it comes down to Carnival Cruise Lines, you could just show up at a venue, take a seat, and enjoy the entertainment. When it comes to Virgin Voyages, you do have to schedule that that venue so that you can go in to experience that because they have limited spacing limited seating in yes. these venues so that is something to keep in mind that there is a difference as with also carnival cruise lines of course family friendly you will have your water slides things like that that makes it a more family friendly vacation and for big kids like myself yeah but with virgin voyages is a yacht style sailing so for the most part a lot of their entertainment is very scaled back dialed back to just pools mm -hmm. games different like gidget and gadgety type of things that are right. around the ship but they also have an a, a arcade yeah but when free. i talk about arcade i'm talking about like back in the day yep. donkey kong pat man yeah, centipede man. and it's all inclusive they have a an area on the ship where you have air hockey pool different things like that so their entertainment is totally different but it's geared towards the adults right and then you're gonna find too that on virgin voyages it's gonna be something for everyone yes and their themes yeah. they do have theme nights so carnival they do they do have like white night um 80s parties different Halloween things like dress up yeah yeah on virgin voyages you'll have a epic pajama party at night or it's usually on the first night mm -hmm. you'll have that then they have the infamous scarlet night where yeah. they deck the ship out in red and everybody dresses everybody in red have a splash or a splash of red and a splash of red and also if you're a workout buff or you just want to do cute workouts they have a Richard Simmons approach to some yeah. <laughs> workouts that you can do as a class, which is really fun as well. So shameless plug. We have two group cruises going on in 2024. Now, if you missed our grown and sexy group cruise for 2023, then shame Ooh. on you. But you have an opportunity to join us for our 2024 grown and sexy. It will be at the end of July of 2024. All of the details will be down below on Virgin Voyages Valiant Lady. And also, we would be doing Carnival Celebration again, but as a group cruise for 2024. It will be in May. As we said, details will be down below. Check that out for full details of everything. Six differences in the two cruise lines. So with is their spending on board. Mm -hmm. So on Carnival Cruise, Carnival has a cashless system approach which you get what you call a sign and sale card that you have to fund with a debit card, mm -hmm. credit card, or cash. And you use that to spend on board. Now, when it comes over to Virgin Voyages, they have what they call the band. Mm -hmm. The band actually goes around your wrist. I forgot the, the Carnival Cruise Line. You it's can a get lanyard. a lanyard go around your neck. But Virgin, you get a band that goes around your wrist and the same approach that you will fund it either with cash, a credit card, or cash. A debit card. Uh, a debit card, yes. You can see both approaches are different, but, but the, the same. same, but they're both cashless systems. 
The seventh difference between Carnival Cruise Lines and Virgin Voyages is the atmosphere. Yes. We all know if you've been on a Carnival Cruise, you know that that atmosphere is lively. It is charged and it stays charged up the entire voyage. It starts to sail away and it does not ever really settle down until it's time to get off of there. Right. With Virgin Voyages, you have pockets of times where it's super, super lively, but you also have that yacht style cruising element to it where right. there is a lot of time to zen out mm -hmm. take it in lay out just be grown with it right. but you also like we said have pockets of things that just pop up and it's just like super entertaining the pool just gets lit for no reason yeah. the coffee shop just gets Get lit, lit for, for no, no reason. reason there's a whole party with the DJ that just breaks out for no reason so the atmosphere is just totally different in so many ways and the most important thing about Virgin, the difference between the cruise lines, is on Carnival, you got all the kids. Ooh. Then on Virgin Voyages, there are no kids. No kids. No kids, fam. No kids, man. And also on Virgin Voyages, they do not have a cruise director. They have a happenings cast, yes. which is a crew of people that just are dedicated to make your experience really good, lively, and great on board. When it comes to Carnival Cruise Line, of course, you have a cruise director that's basically like your headliner to all of your things, all of your announcements, everything on board. Yep. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and smash that like button so the algorithm can send this video to other people that are researching the difference between Carnival Cruise Line and Virgin Voyages. The eighth differences between Carnival Cruise Lines and Virgin Voyages Cruise Line that we think you should know is the casino. Mm. Um. Mm. <laughs> So on Carnival Cruise Casino, I feel like the casino is like a Vegas casino. It is. It's so lively. It's, uh, I it's, mean, it's, it's inviting. Yeah. yeah. So on on Carnival, you will use your, uh, you can either use cash or use your sign and sale card to play in the casino. Mm -hmm. When you come over to Virgin Voyages, I'm not going to lie to you. That's one of the most depressing casinos. It is. I was seen in my life. In my life. <laughs> Look, your corner store casino is probably more lively than that, in my opinion. Right. There is no sounds. It's just all silence. It's silence and um, lights. Right. <laughs> so you will you will you would do the same approach like with Connor where you will pay to gamble with your band. But if you play with a debit card mm, or, credit. or credit card, they're gonna charge you an additional seven percent. So I tell people, you already down 7% before you even get started. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you use your debit card mm -hmm. or your credit card. So we, you know, we always recommend you just use cash and then you can avoid that 7% on Virgin. But just know, don't go on Virgin expecting for a casino like, like, uh, Carnival. Carnival. Is you not going to It's it. not that. But you're going to have a good time. Many people, people on our trips have been enjoying it. They love it. Yeah, they love it. But they, but they say it is, the, is, is depressing. <laughs> Yeah. So you have to love to gamble to stay in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the nice difference between Carnival Cruise Line and Virgin Voyages Cruise Line is the documentation required yeah. to sail on their cruise lines. So let's talk about Carnival Cruise Lines first. Carnival Cruise Lines does allow you to use your birth certificate to cruise on closed loop sailings. Closed loop sailing simply means if you're leaving from the U.S., and you're planning on not missing a port and coming back on that ship to the U.S., they can, you can use your birth certificate. With Virgin Voyages, they require you to have a passport book to sail on their voyages. It does not matter if it's a closed loop sailing or not. Yes. Here recently, they have relaxed the rules for last minute sailings where they will do an exception and allow you to sail with your birth certificate. But this is an exception, not the rule. And it's for last minute. So if they feel like you had time to get a uh, passport, you will not be permitted mm -hmm. to sail. So don't try to don't gamble do like something. That for six months down the road because you could be denied boarding because they're like at this point you probably could have gotten it so we're talking about i would say 60 
to 90 days at most to be able to be permitted to sell with your birth certificate on and Virgin Voyages. And that's not even guaranteed either. And that's not guaranteed. The other differences we're going to add to that is luggage tags. Yes. So with um, Carnival Cruise, you know that you at check-in, you have to print off your luggage tag and mm -hmm. attach those to your luggage and give those to the porter when you arrive at the ship. Now, with Virgin Voyages, you don't print off no luggage tags. Or you, boarding passes. Or boarding passes. You just show up. With your to, app. With your app. And they look at it like, what's your room number? They take your bag. They put the, the tags on it, all that stuff for you. And it's done. And it's done. It, it feel, When we first did it, we was like, I feel feels, like this, this feels really weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing doing something. <laughs> right. So, yeah, no boarding pass and no, um, no luggage tags. No. The tenth difference in Carnival Cruise Lines and Virgin Voyages would be... The announcements. Mm. Now, for those who have not been on any of the ships, you guys you don't, know you don't know the difference. But for those who have been on it, you know with Carnival that everything that's transpiring on that ship, you're going to hear that. Doom! <laughs> this is your cruise director. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived we have in arrived Nassau, Bahamas. The, yeah. So you, they'll let you know everything, everything that's happening on the ship. Version, the other hand. Version makes you be an exalt. I mean, adult. They <laughs> don't tell you nothing. Nothing. It's on the app. It's everything is on the app or in the elevator. Or in the elevator. So they don't tell you when we done arrived at port. They don't tell you when sail away is get ready to happen. They don't tell you that we get ready to leave port. Matter of fact, you just pull off. You just pull off. Yeah. <laughs> So if you used to like announcements and stuff like that, you ain't getting on. Matter of fact, on Virgin, if you do get an announcement, you gonna listen. You're gonna listen. Cause they only talk when, when something, something is wrong. really going on. Yeah. <laughs> like there's a fire, or in our case, there was somebody that was it out was at sea that they were trying to rescue. That was it. That's it. <laughs> it feels so wrong. You'd be like, did we leave? Like, how do we know if we left Nothing anybody? About it. it was like that ain't your problem. That's player. not your problem. <laughs> <laughs> The 11th difference between Carnival Cruise Lines and Virgin Voyages Cruise Lines is their approach to their suites. So on Virgin Voyages, they refer to their suites as Rockstar Suites or Mega Rockstar Suites. And they do come with some awesome perks. When we go over to Carnival Cruise Lines, they do have similar perks, but in different ways. So I'm going to look down because it's way too many to remember. So with Virgin Voyages, you do have access to Richard's Rooftop Terrace, which is an exclusive area on mm -hmm. the ship that only those that are in Rockstar and Mega Rockstar's suites have permission to go into. And your band is black. Everyone else's band is red. Yeah. So those black bands are the ones that's only permitted to be up there they have their own jacuzzis hot tubs they have their own lounge they have their own bar they even have a little area over there where you can do quick grabs and quick eats over there yep. as well in your rockstar suites you have a curated bar what is a curated bar basically it's a bar that's set up with a variety of liquors mixers all of that here's the thing with the curated bar once it's gone it is gone. It's not refilled. Right. But if you're in a mega rock star suite, then that bar is replenished as you need it to be yep. replenished. So that's the major differences with that. When it comes to Carnival Cruise Lines, that is not something that is afforded to you, even though you have purchased a suite. You're not getting any yeah, liquor yeah, in, no your, in, in your that. room. No. All right. So when it comes to both of them, you do get that early boarding and that early, you know, that priority access to hurry up and get on the ship and off the ship as well. But with Virgin Voyages, you have a dedicated line and lounge that yes. you are able to go into as a rock star it's a totally different experience mm -hmm. and once you did it once it's really hard, hard to, go, to back. go back <laughs> like it's 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 amazing also with their mega rock star suites which is their top tier of the rock star suites they pick you up in blacked out suvs from your hotel to the cruise port and back from the cruise port to the airport on this yep. marcation deck that is also a perk every day with virgin voyages they have a reception hour which is an entire hour of moet uh-huh every day every day yep. <laughs> that you have a reception and then you also have a personal concierge mm -hmm. on virgin voyages so as soon as you get on board anything that you want 
If you want dining that you were not permitted to get, they'll make it happen. Yep. If you want shows that you're not able to get into, they will make it happen. If you need a Band-Aid, click, yep. click, click, hey, I need a Band-Aid. They will be at your door before you probably want them at yeah. your door. <laughs> when it comes to Carnival Cruise Lines, it's not a... It's not that. <laughs> no, you just have your room stewardess. Yeah, just, yeah. I mean, you just have a room steward. You do have like more water in your cabin as well. Depending on your status with Carnival Cruise Lines, then you may be able to get like a reception hour or something like that. But other than that, those are the major differences with Virgin Voyages that you have your robes. I yeah. mean, it's, it's they a, both get robes. They both get robes. Yeah. yeah. Now that we've gone over the 11 differences between Carnival Cruise Line and Virgin Voyages Cruise Line, you'll be able to have a clearer picture of which one sounds like it may be more of your speed or something that you want to try out. Like we always say, you don't know if you don't like something until you, you try, try it. it. So if you're curious about it, just go ahead and try it. If you don't like it, you just never have to do it again. So in our opinion, we feel like you should try both. And you should do both. And yeah, do both every year. So that's our thing. We're going to do both every year because we like the family yeah. atmosphere of Carnival. Mm -hmm. And we love the adults only atmosphere of Virgin Voyages. Yes. If you have enjoyed this video, we recommend you check out our two vlogs. Mm -hmm. One right here on the Carnival Celebration or the one over there with Virgin Voyages. And we're going to see you in the next video. Peace.